Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing a Cancel Too Soon. And on this Cancel Too Soon, we'll be talking about the Elvira show. So this actually wasn't a show, it was a pilot that never went to air, but it has been released into the public, I guess. Uh, I have no idea when or how it got released, but it is available to watch on YouTube. And I'll put a little link into the description box if you are interested in watching it. But this was a show that was potentially on the lineup for CBS in 1993. And they ended up filming the pilot and didn't like it, so they scrapped it and ended up not giving it the green light to go to full series. And so let's get into what the Elvira show would have been about. And so we have our titular character of Elvira, and she is living with her aunt in Manhattan, Kansas. And that's like part of the joke. And they are witches. So Elvira kind of has this little psychic shop that she sets up and she kind of is like a little bit of a scam artist, but she's also a real witch. We have their niece who comes to uh, live with them and she has been in an orphanage being raised by nuns since Elvira's brother died and she finally finds Elvira and Aunt Minerva and she comes to stay with them. She's very religious and she doesn't really like that Elvira and Minerva are witches. And that's where I'm going to leave the synopsis. This is a real quick episode. It's only about 26 minutes long, so you can definitely get through this pretty fast. Let's talk about how this is very similar to Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, the 1988 movie, which I did a review of, and I'll put a little eye card up there. But this takes a lot of similar themes from that movie and brings it into a television show. So it kind of takes this, like, outsider approach to... Elvira and how she's more liberal in a way. And they set it in Kansas, which is a typically more conservative area. And so the people that live there are kind of like a gasp, pearl clutching because of Elvira and how she's a bit more edgy and a bit more risque than what they're used to. And that's basically the whole premise of this show, as well as what the premise of Elvira, Mistress of the Dark was. Sabrina the Teenage Witch takes a lot of, takes a lot of influence from this Elvira show, right down to the black cat that talks, the two aunts, Elvira and Aunt Minerva, who are witches, and a person who we don't know at first is a witch, but then turns out to be a witch. And this show came out before Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the television show that we all know with Melissa Joan Hart. But it's the Sabrina the comic book had been around for quite a while. So I'm sure the Elvira show took a little bit of influence from the comic, but this show is very similar to Sabrina the Teenage Witch with Melissa Joan Hart, and I thought that that was kind of interesting. And this show is chock full of jokes in the classic Elvira delivery and style. There's also very edgy jokes. Like, I was surprised at how edgy some of these jokes were for 1993, and I could definitely see why CBS might have been a little hesitant to say that the show should go straight to air because these jokes were very adult. Me being a fan of Elvira and knowing Elvira, I understand that that's Elvira's brand and that's Elvira's type of comedy, but having a wider audience know that is kind of interesting and I think that if this show were to have went on, it probably would have only lasted one season. So do I think that this show was cancelled too soon? Yeah, of course I do. I think I love Elvira, so anything that, so any time that I could see more of Elvira, I would have definitely loved to see it. And this would have definitely given her a more national stage. And I think that that would have been great for the Elvira brand and Cassandra Peterson herself. 
I could definitely see why there was some hesitation with the pilot, but I definitely would have liked to have seen an entire first season. I don't think the show would have gotten too far past our first season if it got any more seasons than just one, but I would have liked to have seen it because you never know what they could have done. Cassandra Peterson was one of the writers on the pilot, so I would have definitely been interested to see how they would have done with a full season. So that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below if you thought that the show was canceled too soon if you've seen it, and what you thought of the show, whether you liked it or you didn't like it, and why. And remember, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. Bye!